Well, I mean, kind of going on from there, um, I also understand that you guys have a new glove line kind of coming out. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you give us the rundown of who the EQ series is going to be geared towards? Okay, no problem. Um, EQ stands for equilibrium. Um, this is really a, a story of balance, uh, kind of a balance of materials. Um, this might appeal a little bit more to the traditional type player. It's a, it's a basically a four bar construction, um, but it does have a, a tapered uh, type of fit. Um, so I, I guess we'd position this more to uh, the finesse, or, or rather the um, um, more aggressive type player who wants a little bit more protection and is a little bit traditional in their ways. All right, you know, so the exterior that you guys are featuring on the EQ series is, um, I mean, in particular, the EQ5 is gonna be a little bit different than the S19. Um, why'd you guys go with the nylons in the middle and the synthetics on the outside? Um, again, the, the glove's called an EQ glove, stands for equilibrium. It's really about a balance of materials. Um, uh, consumers are really migrating more towards a nylon glove. It's lighter weight, it dries a lot quicker, um, but there's still a perceived value in, in the PU. Mm -hmm. So uh, we strategically place the PU around the perimeter of the glove, around the perimeter of the thumb, and around the perimeter of the cuff. So really the high wear areas, but we wanted to maintain some of the uh, reduced weight by having nylon in through the middle zones. And uh, I think it just came out having a nice uh, complete look with the combination and mixture of the two materials. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has a great look, and in, anytime you can increase the durability, I mean, it's definitely, consumers are going to like that. Exactly. Okay, and then, so I mean, I mean, definitely you guys have, you know, keep the four bar construction pretty generous, but why did you guys add um, the segment in that lower bar? Um, that was really to change it up a little bit. The glove doesn't move. Uh, again, we wanted to stay based in tradition, but, um, you know, we want to update a nice look, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to, uh, to the glove. So we added a, a segment in, in there. We also went to triple, triple segmenting of the index, middle, and ring finger, just like we did on the S19. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and this glove, just like the last one, I mean, the dexterity of the fingers is really nice and mobile. Yeah. Um, and, but, I mean, the palm, you have a different kind of palm going on this guy. Um, I mean, you can kind of see there that it is a, definitely a different construction. Why? Um, so why do you have the two strips going down the pinky and the index? Um, this is a, called a, a seamless index and pinky finger design. Uh, you've got to take a real close look, but it's actually the palm material that wraps up and into the gusset area. And what that does is, um, typically when you close your hand around the stick, the index and the pinky fingers want to migrate in because they're suspended by the blocks above it. So um, instead of riding on a seam of a traditional glove, we've taken the seam up and put it right, right into the gusset so you have a seamless interaction uh, between glove and stick with those fingers. Yeah, I mean, it, it does have a very natural feel to it as yeah. you, you know, move the fingers in. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as uh, this material, the durability of that is gonna be you know, just as good as the traditional Nash materials? Yes, uh, this is a, um, a black uh, leather that we use on this glove. We used it in our SC16. It was a great, um, you know, we had great feedback on it. Again, very high profile, uh, double layer, so you get really good durability with this uh, palm material as well. Okay, um, and then also, I mean, same kind of cuff design as the S19 we just saw, so I mean, Anything else you know on, on that guy to add in? No, it's it, it, again the same thing. We we think we nailed it with the comfort on this glove, and then the next point of contention was the cuff length, and we wanted to offer that same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're power player or a uh, finesse type player. I think the adjustable cuff is something that uh, players would value. Yeah, well, I mean, I think both of them have just a great feel and uh, definitely some great performance going on. All right. So that's just been a quick look, guys, at the Easton Hockey Gloves. Uh, once again, this is Terry. My name is Tyson, and this is at InlineNiceWarehouse.com.